thanks to PSLA for uh, serving, as Nancy said, as our co-sponsor. Uh, with Lee Bennett Hopkins, with uh, Penn State University Libraries, and with uh, the Pennsylvania Center for the Book, which is now in its seventh year at Penn State. Uh, we are affiliated with the Library of Congress and Center for the Book, and our mission is to promote books, reading, libraries, and literacy throughout the state. Uh, we do that through a variety of means, and one of those is our website. Um, if you don't know about our website, that's not good. <laughs> on your table is a bookmark that has our web address on it, um, so take it. It looks like this. It's small. It's compact. And there's no place like the Pennsylvania Center for Book. Among the many things that we do on our website <clears throat> is to promote some programs that we sponsor, and one of those, of course, is the Lee Bennett Hopkins Award. Uh, but I want to show you one other one because we wanted to honor PSLA for their sponsorship. We have a literary map, literary and cultural map of Pennsylvania, and on that map we now have 600 uh, biographical sketches of people who were important to Pennsylvania from a literary perspective or a cultural perspective. We're actually now adding quarterbacks and shortstops and things like that, but <laughs> up until then we had not written a book. But we're expanding and I think you'll see some pretty impressive things as the years go by, as we create cultural tourism uh, podcasts, and uh, we have some really neat things in store. Uh, but take a look at the next picture. This is a picture of what the map looks like for Bucks County, and you see that we have Pearl Buck feature, but when you click on Bucks County, the map of Pennsylvania disappears to be replaced by the map of Bucks County. I want you to notice a little symbol there that says PSLA. To honor you and your sponsorship, we have put on the map, just over the last two months, all of your outstanding authors and illustrators using your logo as a marker. Uh, and, <laughs> I'm pleased to say most of them were there already. We have one very exciting addition to make here. <laughs> And I think we still might have a few that we're working on. But when you click on, as it asks you to do, that spot, we go to the list uh, in order uh, from the beginning until now. And so if you go to, uh, we pick Margaret D'Angeli. I actually got to meet her. I'm old enough to have met her. How many people met Margaret D'Angeli? Uh, isn't that, wasn't that an honor? It was really lucky that she lived to be like 100 to help us do that, of course. <laughs> But when you click on Marguerite D'Angeli, then you go to a biographical sketch of Miss D'Angeli, and that's what you will see. We hope that you'll use these when you're working with your students in the library, when you're helping teachers find information on authors. Of those 600, at least 100 of them are children's book authors and illustrators. And thanks to you guys for honoring them, we have a special way to focus on them one more time. One of our other programs, by the way, in the world of poetry, has to do with uh, Poets for Adults, and we publish a set of posters each year uh, honoring Pennsylvania poets. This is what the set looks like this year. I have copies of these out at a table uh, at the end of the hall going that way. Help yourselves if you don't get any. Write to us at the web address and we'll send you a set. They're free. I wouldn't hang these in elementary school classrooms necessarily, because uh, we have poetry covered on both ends. And on the younger end, for the 15th year in a row, um, we have been affiliated in some form or another with the Lee Bennett Hopkins Poetry Award. Mr. Hopkins wrote to me in 1992 and said, how would you like to sponsor an award for children's poetry? No one has done this yet. And I said, no. <laughs> no, I said, yes. And so uh, the award has followed me around the state. It's like stalking me, really. And uh, I'm proud to have it follow me. I'm very proud. It's one of the I'm most proud of, and um, we're going to be introducing the chair of the committee in a minute, but I wanted to bring greetings from Mr. Hopkins himself. He's sorry he can't be here. He has to be in Florida, poor guy, <laughs> or in Texas, or someplace. But today is his birthday, so I wondered how you would feel about singing to him. We're taping. I can mail it to him. He can get a friend who knows something about technology to play it. <laughs> I'm not going to sing into the mic. Somebody start.
by some weird coincidence, it happens to be my birthday too. So thank you very much. <laughs>